welcome and welcome back. If you're new, I am Whiska and if not, hey. So I want to show you guys how I made this cute, trendy denim dress. And it was super, super easy. I'm like, spring is coming and you know, we about to start getting warm weather. So, you know, I could really start wearing clothes that, you know, I'm ready to wear and go out and show out. And I think this is a cute denim dress. So yeah, keep watching guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And one thing is that I will be making clothes and selling them on my website, flyslay.com. So please follow my business page so you guys won't miss any notification or you know subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any notification. I will be selling these pieces for spring and summer and more of the things that I have in mind that is super cute and creative so please stay in tune guys you do not want to miss this so i will be using this pair of denim jeans and also i will be using my denim dress that do not fit me at all and i wanted to make something out of it I feel like the jeans and the dress is enough fabric for me. So guys, try to have enough fabric or try to use a large pants so it could be enough fabric for you guys. So of course, we're going to use a scissors. <laughs> and also, I'm showing you guys these cute decorations I found on these shorts that do not fit me at all and i just wanted to use the decorations the stickers so i just cut them out from the shorts and i want to use it for this project oh my god do you guys see the lipstick and the watermelon uh i'm also using a shirt that i do not want at all and i will be cutting it into different shapes and sewing it onto the dress like i really wanted to add the bandana look to this product so i was so glad that i found this shirt but do any decorations you guys want because it's your dress and your project so i'm cutting out the buttons from the denim dress because i wanted to use it for this project you could use a zipper if you want that can be another option but i wanted to do something more challenging for me and when you cut the buttons out take your time and be careful you do not want to cut too close to the buttons or too far just the right amount of space all right so we got the buttons and the buttons holders for the dress and now we move it on to the pants so we cut in the middle part of the pants in half. So I flipped the pants over so I could see it better because you want to cut the section perfectly in the middle. Now that the pants are cut in half, put one of the legs to the side, and now we're going to cut the middle part of the legs, so the inner section of the pants. This is how the pants will look once you cut it open. So now it's time to use our pattern. So I'm just using a regular summer dress and I'm just going to cut it out. And guys, when you cut it out, please add extra seam allowance. I'll probably add it like three inch. And take your time cutting it out. You know, no rush. You just want to make sure this project is bomb. And once you cut it out, it will look like this and also make sure to cut out the um belt holder the strap part you guys know what i'm talking about so now we're just doing the same process like what we did with the other piece of the leg and we just putting it out and doing the other side of the dress So 
So once I figure out which side I want to use for the front piece, I am using my button and my button hole just to help me guide how far I want to cut down the middle part. So now it's time to make the sleeves and I am using the denim dress. I'm going to cut the denim dress in half. So here I'm just trying on one of the pieces of the denim dress we cut out and I wanted to see how tight I wanted the sleeves to be and then I cut it in half like a little cut on the side. I'm just marking it so I know where to sew the sleeve. And I'm gonna mark a slanted line so it could form a arm piece. So here I'm just trying to figure out how far I wanted to sew down the sleeves and I know it's definitely around the wrist part and I'm going to cut it and mark it. And guys, this is just me drawing a line, trying to shape a arm figure. And guys, it was a fail. So, you know, try to do your best. Of course, add extra seam allowance. And here is me trying it on one more time just to make sure everything fits and it's perfect. So using the other half of the denim dress, we are going to put the sleeve that we just cut out, put it on top, and just cut out the same shape. And that's all. Don't worry about adding extra seam allowance because it's already included. So I'm just here marking how far I want to sew down the sleeve around the wrist. And here's your two sleeves. So I'm just here attaching the buttons to the front part of the dress. And all I'm doing is just pinning it together guys. Take your time pinning it. You want to make sure that your fabric is facing outwards. Also, the buttons outwards as well. If you're doing a zipper, I believe it's the exact method. And align them real close, guys. Make sure it's neat when you match them together. I want this seam to be flawless. So this is how the buttons and the button holders will look once you sew it together. You see how pretty it looks, guys? It's time to sew. Yay! And please don't forget to backstitch, guys. Like, that is so important. You do not want your dress to unravel. Like, that's embarrassing. This is how the dress will look once you finish sewing. And look how sexy this looks. Like... Oh my god, I can't wait to finish this project, guys. Now it's time to sew the back piece onto the front piece. So now it's time to sew the sleeve. And once again, I'm just showing you guys where I want to sew down the sleeve. So now that the sleeves are all sewn, now it's time to attach them onto the dress. 
So now I'm just attaching the side of the sleeves onto the side of the dress, making sure that they match. And then we go and sew a horizontal line. So once everything is all attached, it will look like this. So here comes the fun part, decorating the dress. And I'm just distressing the dress, you know. I wanted that cheek look. And distressing the dress wasn't so hard. I just, you know, cut a horizontal line. And then I put it straight to the washing machine. Bag, this is how my dress look once it come out from the washing machine. And I love it. And of course, you know, I started decorating, trying to figure out where I wanted to put the patches at. And just sew it on, guys. So, you know, take your time. This took me a few minutes where I wanted to place, you know, each patches at and making it look good. And once everything was sewn together, like, I just love it, guys. Like, it's just a great way to, you know, upcycle your jeans, especially your old jeans or jeans that don't fit you no more. You know, just a great way to save money and also be stylish. So, guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later, guys. Ciao.